a former porn star, a former playmate, and a former contestant on The Apprentice, the three women now putting legal pressure on President Trump. All of the accusations of affairs and misconduct date back to before the president took office, but they preview what could be long legal battles ahead and return the spotlight to allegations about Donald Trump's personal conduct. This morning, another woman, another alleged affair with Donald Trump and another lawsuit. The latest accuser to come forward, former Playboy model Karen McDougal, her lawyer speaking out this morning for the first time. Karen McDougal had a sexual relationship with Donald Trump for 10 months. It was a romantic relationship. They were together very often. The alleged affair was more than 10 years ago. McDougal says in 2016 she was paid $150,000 by the National Enquirer's parent company to keep her story secret. Now she's suing the company, American Media Inc., whose CEO is a friend of President Trump. Her lawyer claims the agreement is invalid because the media company and her attorney misled her about the deal. McDougal, now the second woman this month taking legal action to tell her story following Stormy Daniels. Do you have a non-disclosure agreement? Do I? Daniel's attorney posting this photo Tuesday of the adult film actress taking a lie detector test in 2011. The polygraphed report obtained by NBC News shows the examiner found Daniels to be truthful when she said she had unprotected sex with Donald Trump. The White House has repeatedly called those claims false. Overnight, Daniels tweeted, Technically, I didn't sleep with the POTUS 12 years ago. There was no sleeping, adding, I'm not going anywhere. On Tuesday, a New York judge ruled in favor of former Apprentice contestant Summer Zervos, saying her case can go forward, denying the president's lawyer's request for immunity because he's commander-in-chief. Zervos alleges Donald Trump groped her in 2007. As a candidate, Mr. Trump denied her claims and those of other women who accused him of misconduct. They are all false. They're totally invented. Still silent on all of the accusations? First Lady Melania Trump. Instead, she's speaking out about her anti-cyberbullying campaign, despite fierce criticism of her husband's social media habits and his frequent attacks on Twitter. I'm well aware that people are skeptical of me discussing this topic, but it will not stop me from doing what I know is right. As for those other women, Karen McDougal plans to speak out publicly later this week in an interview with Stormy Daniels could air as early as this weekend. Savannah and Hoda, this is a conversation that is far from finished. Uh, it is, and there's another conversation happening right now, Peter. Some Republicans and Democrats criticizing the president for his congratulatory phone call to Vladimir Putin. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Yes, yeah, Savannah, that's right. The president congratulating Vladimir Putin on his reelection, despite specific warnings from his national security advisors not to. The Washington Post reporting that the words do not congratulate in all caps were written inside the president's briefing book yesterday. The president also reportedly ignoring instructions to condemn the recent poisoning of a former Russian spy in Britain. He didn't bring up Russia's meddling in the U.S. election either. It is worth noting in 2012, President Obama Obama congratulated Putin after his re-election then. President Trump said that he and Putin had a good call that they'll likely meet soon. But this, of course, is sparking a new round of sharp criticism about the president's non-confrontational tone toward one of America's biggest global rivals and all of it against the backdrop of the Russia investigation. Savannah and Hoda. Peter Alexander at the White House for us. Thanks, Peter. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.